Hi, today we are going to take a look at the new XMG300 guitar multi effects pedal. I got it at the same time as my guitar and decided to test it out and share my thoughts. The new XMG300 is a budget friendly guitar processor that performs really well for its price. In the video description you'll find a link where you can order it on AliExpress. It arrived in such a box and everything was intact with no damage. The pedal was protected with foam inside the box. The package includes the gadget itself, a power cable, a brief instruction manual and a sticker. Using the pedal is super easy. All you have to do is plug in your guitar cable, connect headphones or speakers and start playing. You can also connect your phone through the aux input and play along with backing tracks, but you'll need to purchase the cable separately. Personally, I got this processor mainly to connect it to my computer and record directly without an external sound card. Before using it with a PC, make sure you go to the official website, download and update the processor firmware, install new X ASIO on the PC and the Quicktone editor program to manage the presets. In order to connect it to the computer, you'll need a mini USB cable, which is not included in the package. There are two types of these cables, those that can transfer data and those that can only charge a device. You'll need one that can transfer data. It took me a while to find one, since all the phones now have switched to USB-C, but eventually I found an old Samsung cable that worked. I use FL Studio to record, and when I selected new X ASIO in the audio settings and a small bitrate to minimize latency, I came across a flaw in this ASIO driver. You can't select the output device. So by default, all sound goes through the audio output of the effects pedal, and you have to switch the speakers from the computer to the pedal. This isn't a huge issue, since the device has direct monitoring and guitar sound output without delay. However, I'd still like to have a choice, like in ASIO for All or FL ASIO. Since this is a software flaw, not a hardware one, hopefully New X will fix this in the future. This guitar processor comes with a lot of presets that you can use right away. If you want, you can customize them. You can use the Quicktone Editor software, which is very easy to use. You can also make adjustments using the knobs and small screen on the processor itself. But the software is more convenient. You click and select the effect you need, adjust it, and then you can also select the cabinets and type of microphone from below. Then you save everything and you're done. It couldn't be simpler. This app is one of the reasons why I prefer this pedal to other budget options in this price range. And to be honest, I'm quite satisfied with the built-in presets. Most often I just switch between them to the most suitable one and play on it. This saves a lot of time that I can spend directly on playing and learning. The built-in tuner is also very handy. You can turn it on and off easily, and it's very accurate. 
The processor has a built-in drum machine that you can use to play along with. You can access it through the jam button along with a looper that you can record segments of your playing on and play back as background music. Both functions can be used at the same time and their volumes can be adjusted separately. One downside is that the drum machine and looper sounds are only transmitted through the direct monitoring and not recorded through the USB cable in FL Studio. To record them, you need to connect the pedal's output to a sound card and record the whole signal. Another downside is that the processor doesn't have an on-off button, so you have to constantly plug it in and then unplug it after you stop playing. The Wawa pedal is made of rubber, which can be hard to clean and wears out faster than plastic or metal pedals. And for me the processor would still be a great device even without the Wawa pedal, as it would be more compact and easier to carry around. But the processor isn't particularly large, and it fits easily into my guitar bag along with the small guitar cable, strap and power cable. Overall, the new XMG300 is an excellent choice for beginner guitarists who live in apartments like me and are looking for a versatile and easy to use guitar multi-effects pedal for practicing and home recording. It's also reasonably priced. Most beginner guitarists don't want to spend a lot of money on equipment when they are still figuring out what they need and how to use it. That's certainly the case for me. This pedal is a perfect way to find out if you need it, learn how to use it, adjust the sound, write songs and so on. If the manufacturer had added a power button and included a USB cable for connection, it would have been even better. That's all. I hope my video was helpful to you and you learned something new about this device. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And if you own the same pedal, I would love to hear your opinion. As always, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching and keep rocking.